What's up? My name is Ryan Worley with Chip Nils, and we're quarantined here in Vegas, but that doesn't mean we have to sit on the couch all day. So to stay in shape inside, I'm going to teach you how to work on the glutes, which is very important as a Chip and Dale. So what I'm doing is I'm setting down a, a, a pillow to put on my upper back so that um, it's a little bit of a cushion. And this is going to be a glute thrust or a hip thrust. It's the same thing, two different names for it. And you can do this on the ground or you can do this up on a leverage like, uh, like a stair or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a stair. I'm going to get down on my back just like this. Pillow is going to go on my upper back. And then I'm going to dig through with my heels, okay? So I'm going to thrust up just like this, hold it for a few seconds, and come back down. Pushing through the heels the whole time and bringing my hips up as high as I can go and squeezing everything. This is getting your hamstrings and your glutes, okay? So I recommend doing anywhere from 15 to 20 reps based on you know your, uh, your fitness level. And you can even add weight, put it on your hips just like this. Um, or you can do isometric holds. Those are always great as well. So I'm going to show you a way to work out your chest at home. So there's a couple different variations of push-ups that I'm going to show you. And it's something to keep in mind is when your elbow is at a 90 degree angle right here, you're hitting a lot of shoulders and not your chest. And then same with if your elbows are close to your side, you're actually hitting a lot of triceps and not your chest. So that 45 degree angle is the sweet spot for your chest. And I'm going to show you a couple different variations. So the first one, we're just going to do a normal push-up down and up, try to keep everything as flat as possible. Another ver version of that is gonna be for the upper chest and that's actually with your butt up. A lot of people think that's wrong, but that's a good way to actually target the upper chest. So, butt up in the air and push down, touch the nose and come back up. Touch the nose and come back up. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is a pop push up. So, that one we're gonna come down just a little bit and then pop both the the hands and the feet off the ground at the same time, okay? Watch out, Amy. All right, so we're gonna come down just a little bit and pop, 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 just like that. So that's a good way to work out your chest at home. I'm gonna show you today how to work the front part of your legs or your quads at home. So this exercise is called a sissy squat, even though there's nothing sissy about it. You're just going to use your body weight and you're going to grab onto the edge of something. So whether it's a counter or the side of the couch or something like that, we're going to grab it just like this, arms straight, feet back, and only your toes are going to be on the ground. Okay. So we're going to come down and my cat's getting in the way and we're going to keep the upper body nice and straight, bend at the knees, slightly touch the ground and then push back up. And we're just going to repeat just like that, keeping your arms straight and your upper body straight the whole time. Like I said, this is getting the front part of your legs, just like that. I would recommend anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Make sure you're warmed up and loose though, because it is a little bit harder on your knees. So I'm gonna show you a way to work out your triceps at home. So we're gonna do two exercises, supersetting them together, meaning back to back without any rest. First exercise that we're gonna do is a dip off the stairs. You can do it off of the couch, off of the coffee table, anything like that. I'm choosing to use the stairs. So I'm gonna grab the stairs just like this. Elbows are gonna stay close to the sides. We're gonna dip back, bending the elbows, and push up, keeping the chest up the whole time. We're just gonna repeat just like this. It's a very small range of motion. Then we're gonna grab our almond breeze, almond milk, and we're gonna do tricep kickbacks, okay? So this one, elbows are gonna be super far back, as far back as you can, parallel with the ceiling, and kick it back just like this, nice and controlled. And just repeat just like that, keeping the elbows close to the sides. So that's a good way to work out your triceps at home. Stay strong, stay safe, stay sexy, and stay home.